Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to McKee's Tutorials, and this is another episode of Unity Quick Tips. Today's Unity Quick Tip is going to be going over what a prefab is. So basically, long story short, a prefab is a game object that you save in your project so that you can copy and paste it in uh, any place inside of your different scenes and stuff that you want. Uh, this might include just game objects in your scene that you want to just copy and paste everywhere. Um, such as like crates or barrels or other uh, just level design stuff or uh, it might be bullets or enemies or health packs just anything anything along those lines so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of an example so I'm gonna click on create I'm going to go down to create cube uh, let me scale it down a little bit so that you can see it better um, so let's see now I got it to the size that I want now I'm going to uh, assign a material onto it um, and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to rename it whatever I want and then so let me also find it uh, whoops let me move over here let me find it in the hierarchy so here is our cube in the hierarchy so yes now we have our cube so let's say uh, just for whatever reason this cube over here is just totally awesome and we want to use it in our level design and just use it to fill up corners and just like put it around the areas to decorate it and make our level look really cool and we just want to copy and paste it very easily so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this window right here the project window and we're going to click on create prefab and i'm going to call this awesome the awesome cube which let me uh change it to that so that we can see it a little bit better so now we have the awesome cube and it is a prefab and this little cube right here is grayed out so that means that it is an empty prefab so we need to fill it up with something so what we're going to do let's see if i can get both of these in the same view i believe they are so here we have the cube that we just made here we have uh, the empty prefab and all we need to do is drag and drop that on top of awesome cube and now as you can see the cube is blue signifying that we have that game object saved in there and uh, let me pull this over Whoop. totally did that wrong so let's try to do that and now I'm trying to get both of these kind of in the same view so that we can see what I'm doing so I'm going to look over here and I'm just going to drag and drop some awesome cubes all over the place so I can make as many copies as I want and then if I go into here and let's say I want to change the Y scale it changes all of them not uh, just one oops actually you can't see in the view that I'm changing the Y scale but that was what I was doing was changing the Y scale so that is basically how you create a prefab so let's say that we want to uh, create these prefabs in our script and we want to be able to copy them through script and not just do the example of what I did just there which is basically only for level design let's say we want to create some bullets and keep on shooting the uh, copies of bullets so this bullet would have uh, something on it that looks like a bullet it, or a mesh on it um, it would have a script on it uh, it might have a, a point light on it um, it's a certain size certain rotation all of that stuff so uh, maybe there's a particle effect on the bullet so we have all of these different parts of the bullet that we saved inside of a prefab and I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to show you where I saved it it's inside of a folder called bullets uh, nope this folder right here bullets and here I have the shotgun bullet and we get a little preview over here so that we can see kind of what the shotgun bullet looks like so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in code what we would do so here we are inside of the gun script um, and one of the variables that we declared and this is outside of the update loop this is just where we're declaring all of the variables we have var bullet of type game object so whenever you're saving a prefab into a variable you want that variable type to be a game object because a prefab is a game object it's just saved in the project folder or I mean the asset folder as opposed to in the scene and in the hierarchy so let's go find a shotgun in the hierarchy 
and I believe we're gonna have to scroll down and there's a shotgun and then let's go over here and then we should be able to find here it is the variable bullet so we're inside of the inspector so we should be able to see the project window and the inspector window so that uh, we can see how to uh, save a certain prefab to that variable so that in the script we can create copies of that and all we are going to do is click here on the shotgun bullet and drag and drop it on top of there like that and then when we actually want let me open up notepad so that I can show you what the code looks like and I'm gonna have to change the font so that it actually will fit bear with me for a second okay fix that okay uh, so now when we want to create a bullet um, first what you'd want to do is probably actually no let's just create the bullet exactly where the game object is and where the game object is facing and we will spawn the bullet there basically all we would do is um, say like if input dot get button down whoops down um, fire one then instantiate whoops instantiate bullet at trans yeah form dot position comma space transform dot rotation um and I believe that is all that we would need to do so whoops actually I don't need to save that what am I doing okay so let me actually indent that so that you can see it's kind of what it would look like in code so this is a simple simple if statement and the if statement is basically saying if we press the fire one button um, just when we press it down I think by default this is left mouse um, or if you're using a controller I think it's by default R maybe um, but yes that is our the variable that we save the prefab inside of would be bullet so this is the variable where we said let me go into the script var bullet of type game object and then we assigned assigned it in the inspector so that is the basics of how you would create a uh, how you would create a bullet and I'm just trying to find real quick uh, there we go um, that's how you would uh, create a bullet a copy of a prefab of a bullet so you can spawn it and shoot it as many times as you want and the function that you're going to use is instantiate which basically means to create and then you first give it what you want to create a copy of in this case we're giving it the variable that saved the prefab of the bullet and then you would give it where you want to spawn it and in this case we just want to spawn it exactly where our game object is and then we will give it the rotation that you want to give that particular game object and we're giving it the rotation of the game object that we're spawning it from so if we're spawning it from a gun this is going to shoot bullets so yes hopefully this was a good introduction to prefabs for you guys so until my next episode i'll see you guys later and keep making games